Hello Android users, today I'm going to show you how to manually install the Google Play Store and the Amazon App Store onto your Android device. You don't need to be rooted to do this. First up, open up your notifications and go to settings. This is often a pull down menu from the top. It can be a little gear symbol on phones. Go to security and you'll need to select unknown sources allow the installation of non-market apps. The first time you select this, a warning message will pop up and let you know you're vulnerable to attack from malicious software like this, so be careful what you install. You can come back here and unselect it later. On my Galaxy 2 Note, it's a pull-down menu from the top. Go to the little gear symbol, select Security, and check Unknown Sources. Once we have Unknown Sources selected, we simply need to download the APK files look in the description of this YouTube video. Here you'll find a full summary of everything I'm going to talk about and step-by-step -step directions of how to install this. Go here and download the Play Store APK. You use a browser to complete the download action. This will download it directly onto your Android device. By default it'll download into a folder called Download. We can also download this directly onto our PC, our Mac, or Linux device and transfer it directly over. We can download the Amazon App Store just like this too. I'd like to note that Trio Stealth users uh, by default won't be able to use the Play Store. They'll need to be rooted to do that. I have links here how they can root their devices and how to get the Play Store installed. But by default you can use the Amazon App Store. Anyone can. Amazon promotes it. They have a little more information about it here. The APK download will go directly to the download folder. When you download these files, they'll show up in your notifications. Once they're finished downloading, you can select them like this and install them like this. It gives me a little warning message because I already have it installed. You can update it like this. We'll replace the existing one but save my login information. In order to use the Play Store or the Amazon App Store, you'll need to log in with an email address. And here we are. If you downloaded this to the PC or your Mac, you can use the ES File Explorer, a great free file explorer program, to navigate your device and find it and install it. Simply search it in the Play Store or the Amazon App Store and open it up. When you plug your USB into the computer, by default your files will end up here. This is the internal memory. Here's the app stores ready to install. If you downloaded them directly to the device, they'll be in this download folder right here. Through this app, we simply click on it to install it. Just like we did before, give us the same warning message if we already have it installed, and works the same way. Now we have the Play Store and the Amazon App Store installed. Great work. Something to note is you'll see a little download button here at the top. In the Play Store, this is how we update our apps. There'll be automatic updating here. We can select it and it'll update all our apps. Sometimes there will be manual updates too and we'll need to select update and agree to the licensing agreement before it'll install. So if you ever see the little download symbol here, you can come and check it out. The Amazon App Store is pretty much just the same kind of thing but a different little layout. It's not as nicely laid out but it works just as well for downloading your different apps. Go to the three dots at the bottom and select My Apps. Here you can check for app updates. You can also get the free ES File Explorer from here. So either of these will work out just fine for you. Now I want to note Cyanogen mod users, if they're missing the Play Store, this means that the GAFs package did not flash correctly. If you look in the troubleshooting section of this video's information, you'll find help for that. Here's the troubleshooting. 
there's a few different things we can do. But number one, we're going to want to re-download and reflash our GFs packages. Now this is just for CyanogenMod users. Everyone else is good to go already. Because there'll be core apps for your Android operating system included in these packages. So you'll need to select your version of CyanogenMod, and here's your version of Android. If you need to check this out, open up your notifications again, and go to Settings. Now at the very bottom of the list, you'll find About Tablet or About Phone. Here you can find your version of Android, running Android version 4.0.4 .4 Ice Cream Sandwich Cyanogen Mod 9. So I'll go back to my list, and I can select the appropriate download. Once I've downloaded this, I'll flash it through my recovery. Clockwork Mod or Twerp works fine. If you need to learn how to do this yourself, I have links in the description for a full video explaining how to do this. Anyways, now you've got the Play Store installed. If you need more information, check the description for everything step by step. Please subscribe to see the latest updates and like the video so more people will see it. Thanks for watching, everyone.